Well, today I'm going to finish decorating my little Christmas house. I just love this little antique house. If you want to check out more about it, you'll have to go on to my previous videos that I've done on the house. I just love, love, love this house. So the tiny house, I've uh, added a few little extra things. I crocheted this little uh, Christmas tree and glued some little tiny, well actually I sewed some little tiny beads onto it and uh, <clears throat> I'm really quite pleased with the way the front porch looks um, with all of the beautiful little Christmas items on it. As I said in a previous video, this will be a Christmas house all year round and this little house is a side opening house so I'm just opening the door to show you what it's like currently. So we've got some work cut out for us. So um, you can see here, these are the things that I chose originally to go in the house. And we'll just be adding a few little extras. For example, she needs a Christmas tree. So, oh, my table fell over and tipped. So that's one of those uh, tables that's actually supposed to tip, although not ideal when it's got cookies on it. <laughs> so... Um, I dug out some extra little 124 scale Christmas cards, which I want to put on the desk and on top of the mantelpiece. So you can see here the precious little cards. They're so cute. So I'm just going to use a little, little tiny, minute amount of uh, museum wax. And I'm going to um, scatter them about. <laughs> Look how tiny they are. They just... So there you go, that's the first one. And then I'm going to put these other two on the mantel, um, which I think would be a great place to di display Christmas cards because that's where I put mine in my house. So yeah, see how cute they are? They're so little. And these printables are available free on the internet. So it's such an easy little thing that you can add to any display that you're making. So. Um, you can see here the back of the tree and then there's a little battery pack in the bottom and I'll turn it on and that'll actually light up the inside of the house quite nicely. So there's the little <coughs> Christmas tree that I built in the uh, Christmas tree collaboration that I did with the other YouTube channel owners. So I'm just tucking that into the corner and now I'm only going to be able to use one chair. And the chair that I've chosen to use for this particular little house is the one that I got from Deb from Doll's House Dilemma. I just love Deb. She really does have the neatest uh, YouTube channel. You guys are going to have to go and check it, check it out. It's really quite fabulous. So you can see here the chair is not to scale. It's more 1 16th. But uh, as she mentioned, you know, Santa Claus has got a pretty big butt, so he might need a little extra big chair. <laughs> so, and I think it just fits just perfectly in this little setting. So I just tuck that chair in the corner and then I'm going to put a little plate of cookies beside the little chair. And I think that is just absolutely adorable and looks so nice in there. So um, <clears throat> I do have a plate that says carrots for the reindeer. And uh, I'm going to have to make a little female carrot and put that in on top of the mantelpiece at a later date. I just haven't had time to do it yet. So there we go. That's what it looks like. I'm so tickled pink with it. And if you remember uh, at the half price sale, I got this little hand painted stool, which I just adore. And I'm just getting a couple little small amounts of museum wax and rolling it into a little ball. And uh, I'm going to be using that to mount my little nativity scene. <clears throat> so um, museum wax is really quite nice to be able to keep things stable but not permanent so 
I'm just putting a little tiny bit on top of the stool. And of course I dropped the stool. And then I'm going to grab the little nativity scene. Now, if you remember, this is the piece that I took off of a Hallmark uh, Christmas decoration. And uh, I think that that is just a perfect little addition for my little dollhouse. Um, it is, however, going to make it a little crowded in there, but hey, <laughs> I just had to put it in here. So I'm just kind of tucking this into the corner, just on the other side of the door, beside the Christmas tree. And I think that looks rather well there. I'm, I'm pleased with it. And then I'm putting the little desk in front of the window. And then I have a few more little items that I just like to tuck in here. So I've got these uh, Christmas ornaments that I also got at the half price sale. And I think they're really cute. So I'm just going to put those in there that make it look like I'm still in the middle of decorating my tree. And then I also have these Christmas crackers. And yeah, I know they are way out of scale. <laughs> they're like definitely 112 scale. And I don't care. I have to put it in the house. I just think they're absolutely so stinking cute. I have to put them in there. So um, so I've just kind of tucked them in beside the chair. And there you go. That's what it looks like. I think that's quite cute. So, But of course, you know, I, I never can seem to stop. So I've got a few more things that I'd like to tuck in there. So these Christmas books, I'm just going to put them on in a little stack here and put them in front of the chair just in case Santa Claus might want to read a little story. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I and of course, the Christmas theme, so they have to go into the little house. And then I've also got uh, some mini brand toys that I want to put in there. Now, I know they're not the right era, but uh um, all of these pieces were actually, I snapped the little boxes, the plastic boxes that they came in. So there's a little My Little Pony, and then that little doll. She had wings, but I cut the wings off of her. And then um, this little fairy that uh, I think they spin and fly, and that came in a great big, huge container. So I snap the containers and then I tucked all those little items underneath the Christmas tree so and I am so pleased with the way this turned out I think it looks really quite good so so other than just a couple small finishing touches I think this house is completely the way I want it to be and then here's the little poinsettia that I also got off of that same Hallmark decoration that uh, um, I snapped the nativity scene off of <laughs> and then a couple of little Christmas trees a couple more little Christmas trees that I'd like to place onto the front stoop with the other de decorations and these are quite nice I did not decorate them myself but uh, I think they're quite beautiful so I definitely want to use those on the front porch as well so I put one on one side and you can see, I'm just going to turn the house so you can see, I put the other one on the other side. And I think that looks quite good. I'm quite satisfied with that. Please stay till the end of the video so I can show you guys uh, how I make some homemade potato chips to put inside of the house as well. So, and I just open the door so you can have a little view of the little oversized fireplace. <laughs> And again, nothing in here works in terms of uh, scale, but I think when you put it all together, it works just fine. So um, as I say, like this house is just absolutely oh, so much fun. I think, I think I really enjoyed doing that more than most videos. So here's a actual bowl of potato chips. And uh, I want to show you how I make miniature potato chips. This is an old trick that a lot of you might know about already, but it might be new to some of you. So here's some uh, green bell peppers, which I buy quite often to put in salads. And I also use them to make stuffed peppers. And uh, if you cut a, a green bell pepper in half, 
you can see this is what they look like on the inside. And do you see those little tiny seeds that you normally discard? Well, instead of discarding them, keep them and dry them out. So I'll show you what they look like when they're dried out. So I made salad about a week ago, and then I took the seeds and I just put them in this little jar here and let them dry on my counter for about a week. And I think they make perfect potato chips <laughs> so it's just an old trick that's been around for a really long time so here's a little tiny bowl that i have and uh, i only have crazy glue here upstairs so i'm going to use crazy glue so i put a little tiny tad of uh, crazy glue in the bottom of the bowl and then i'm going to fill the bowl up with some potato chips so um <clears throat> I'm going to have to put a couple layers in. So that's uh, one layer. And then I'm just going to add a little tiny bit more crazy glue. And I guess it wouldn't matter what kind of glue you use to do this. Normally, I would probably use tacky glue, but I was too lazy to go downstairs and grab it. <laughs> so there you go. There's a bowl of potato chips. Now, how easy is that? And, I mean, I haven't even used not even a third of what came out of that little bell pepper. So, um, yeah, what a easy, easy peasy way to make um, a little miniature for your dollhouse. So, I just thought I'd share that with you because uh, it's just something that's been around forever. And um, it's just, you know, details. Adding these little details is what makes the inside of your dollhouse look so fun. So, And it would look really neat if you put a little bowl of dip beside it. <laughs> it almost looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? See how nicely that glued in? Just perfect. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to help support my channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. Just go to www buymeacoffee.com slash Lisa Dobo. Thank you very much to everybody that has supported me on buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate it more than you know. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing because it really does help my channel out. Please leave a comment on what you thought about today's video and hit that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. And once again, have the best day ever. Thanks for watching, guys.